This is Creality's Nebula camera. I got this guy so I could monitor my prints remotely without having to check on them every 10 minutes. But when I was buying it, I noticed that it had a feature that I <laughs> really didn't expect. Now, because this guy was only $50, I was a bit skeptical <laughs> as to how well this night vision mode would actually work. So as soon as it arrived, I got to testing it straight away and I was really surprised with the results. So this is what it looks like with the lamp on. You can see everything very clearly, but when I turn the lamp off, it's very dark. Now here is a side-by-side -side comparison between my $200 Logitech webcam and the $50 Nebula camera. At the moment, I have the light turned on, but here's what happens when I turn the light off. As you can see, the camera on the left is in complete darkness, but the Nebula, the night vision, <laughs> it works so well. So as you can see, the night vision mode is automatic, so you don't need to worry about flicking a switch or pressing a button. There is actually a sensor on the front right here, and when there isn't enough light, this sensor will activate night vision mode. So in the box you get the camera and then you get this little tripod that has flexible legs so you can wrap it around stuff and you can also just use it as a freestanding tripod. So now I no longer need to have an external light like this and it means I can save on electricity and light bulbs. Now not only does this guy have night vision, oh no, but it also has AI detection built in for when your print starts to turn into spaghetti. And to top things off, this also has an adjustable focus lens, meaning that now you can get a consistent image with your webcam instead of having it constantly hunt for focus, which is especially helpful for those time-lapse shots. So you can see you spin it left and right depending on what you want in focus, which is really cool. Now I was curious as to whether or not this would act as a normal webcam. So I plugged it into my computer and opened up OBS and it worked perfectly. And who knows, if you're really creative, maybe you can get two of these and turn it into some night vision goggles. If you wanna buy one of these for yourself, there is a link in the description. Ooh, thanks for watching.